Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the um, fourth session of this morning, which is a talk by Associate Professor Dr. Ashanya Rajana Ubon and her colleague, which is Ms. Suvitida Charung Kitikun. They're going to give a talk in the topic of the implementation of lifelong learning in Thailand. So please make welcome for both of them. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have uh, 40 minutes, but I try to keep before 40 minutes for everyone to have a good break after us. Uh, for our presentation today will be the implementation of lifelong learning in Thailand. Uh, our presentation, we have two of us today. We're from the Division of Non-Formal Education, Faculty of Education, Dulalongkorn University. And we also have another three more with us somewhere over there. Please welcome them together. We are for five of us together for our presentation today. For the topic today, uh, we would like to focus for five areas together, but I would like to conclude only about four of four together. First, we look for the concept, vision, progress, and policy of lifelong learning in Thailand, and also introduction of education system in Thailand. The most important part for the presentation will be this part, the implementation of lifelong learning, which we would like to share with all the ladies and gentlemen with the, our research result, which has done by our faculty we have six research results to share with you today. And the last part will be recommendations and conclusion. We try to finish real fast for the beginning, for the background of the study. As we already recognize that lifelong learning is the very important skill for the knowledge-based economy, knowledge-based society, and learning society. In Thailand, as the government has implemented all the act, at least has been shown here, the National Act of 1999, the National Education Act of BE 2542, the Promotion of Non-Formal and Informal Education Act, BE 2551, and also the important one, the 10th National Economic and Social Development Plan, 2007 to 2011. And the last part which we would share together is the research studies have the, which the implementation of lifelong learning in Thailand. This is all six research has been done by our faculty, at least which the evidence to show everyone that the implement of lifelong learning in Thailand has been recognized and have done very well with all the community of Thailand. We will show each of these together later on. Uh, for the first part, the concept, vision, progress, policy of lifelong learning in Thailand, at least we put together two concepts, at least. I mean, we have more than this, but we at, have at least tried to conclude together. First part, we recognize that lifelong learning start since the era of uh, Sukhothai, uh, uh, first Ratanako Sin, long time ago, learning is a part of life. We might call it its informal learning, transfer from one generation to another generation. And right now, learning is acquired from three parts of education. We call it formal education, non-formal education, and informal education. We will show you later on by Jan Suvitida. So, as I already mentioned for this policy, which uh, make our vision for lifelong learning in Thailand, this vision includes all the strategies to develop lifelong learning together. For the vision first one, to develop the qualities of Thai people. For sure, we make the importance of Thai people toward a knowledge-based and learning society. 
which emphasizes the promotion of human development for integrity, which is very important for Thai people, knowledge and resilience, where learning and spirituality of all groups in all ages will be developed through our life. To promote and support lifelong learning activities among community members, this is our vision. And the last one, the implement research and activities among members of all backgrounds, of all age group of Thailand. And e-learning should be related to these uh, two areas together for the learning activities. E-learning, distance learning, um, implement research will be together with that area together. So this is the 10th uh, nation development. This philosophy, we all Thai people believe that our his royal king of Thailand, uh, sufficiency economy is very important to us. It's the philosophy for our nation. We try to go uh, using this all sufficiency economy to become green and happiness society, we hope. And we have at least four systems here that we look for. For the first part, Thai people, vision of our nation. We hope that Thai people would be having moral and knowledge, self-immunity, discipline, and responsibility especially maintaining Thai culture and local wisdom. It is very important for us. Community institutes, we hope that having stability with happiness under diversification of culture and resources. Economic system, of course, we look for having growth with stabiliz stabilization, being self-reliant, equal distribution. And the last part, the administrative system. We look for the transparent, fair, collaboration, and culture and democracy. Finally, we will be green and happiness society. So the progress of lifelong learning in Thailand, as I already mentioned, we come far from Sukho Thai and Ratanagosin period. So we come right now for recently. Thailand is moving forward to promote and support much more lifelong learning activities by, you may look here, we have delivering basic informal education, literacy promotion, and continuing education. We develop educational resources and educational technology and all types of education promote transfer of equivalency, which is very important. We have three at least system of education. We need to equivalency, educational results, knowledge and experience, as well as the equivalency determination of educational level. And the last one, which is very important for us for the implementing research and activities in lifelong learning to further development of human potential and sustainable development of the country among members of all, which is very important. Everyone needs to become a potential and sustainable development. For the next part, uh, Dr. Ajahn Suvitida will explain a little bit more for the introduction of Thailand education system to promote lifelong learning. Thank you. I think I will go um, very fast in this detail because um, most of us uh, can um, look for the information um, in many sources, for example, internet or even the national policy of Thailand, okay? Um, the enactment of the Master Registration National um, Education Act 1999 mentioned very clearly that, that in Thailand, educational system can be uh, divided in two, three main uh, types. Uh, firstly, formal education, non-formal education, and then informal education. Besides, institutions are authorized to provide any one or all of the three types of education. 
and the educational provision shall be uh, based on lifelong learning for all and uh, all segments of the society participating in the provision of education along with the continuous development of the body of knowledge and learning process, okay? Um, first of all, I think here's a uh, from this chart, you can notice that in Thailand, formal education is the um, education that has specific aim, method, and curriculum, uh, duration, assessment, and evaluation, okay? And uh, in uh, our education system, formal education can be divided into three, uh, two levels, basic education and um, higher education. For basic education is provided for 12 years before uh, higher education. And higher education uh, divided into two levels, lower degree, lower than degree and the degree level. The main uh, organization who are the core um, organization who provide the formal education is the Ministry of Education. And uh, other other organization that involve in formal um, education is the early childhood um, development institution, school, private school, um, state school, or even the religion institution, and also um, the learning resources. The second um, type of education is for non formal education. We all know that it's a very flexible education in um, main, many, many uh, aspects. For example, the target group, the um, process, the e assessment and evaluation. According to the Promotion of Non Formal Education Act um, 2008, uh, which is the first. Um, uh, registration of the non formal and informal education in Thailand um, pointed out very clearly that the content and the curriculum of non formal education uh, should be appropriate and respond to the interests and the requirement of the um, target group. Uh, for non formal education activity can be categorized into three, four main areas. The first one is the basic non-formal education. The second one is the um, education for vocational development, uh, which mainly aim to provide a, a skill training for uh, continuous um, learning. And the third one is the education uh, for life skill development. And the last one is the education for social and community development. And the last one is the formal education. Uh, form, informal education means educational activity in uh, daily life through a person may choose to continue learning through their life, their life, interest, need, opportunity, and um, uh, learning aptitude of each person. The principle include the promotion um, and the support of informal education include individuals should be able to access to educational resources uh, ac according to their interests and the, their lifestyle of learner in every target group and also the development of education resources in order to create the diversity in both local wisdom component and educational technology component. And the last one is the provision of educational framework um, that are beneficial to learner. And um, I think it's the main part of our presentation today is the implementations of lifelong learning, which based on our research um, result. Um, lifelong learning in Thailand has been implemented uh, various program and activity by government uh, organization, private organization, and uh, community. And uh, one of the effective uh, mechanism that promote and support lifelong learning in Thailand is the community learning center. And the main organization who organize uh, are responsible for lifelong learning in Thailand promotion is the Office of Non-Formal and Informal Education, Ministry of Education. The uh, community learning center um, has been implemented um, so through several organizations, including government organization and private organization. For government organization, uh, that will be the um, Office of Non-Formal and Informal Education, local administrative organizations, and the local wisdom learning center. 
And for private organization, can be um, workplace, workplace learning um, activity or program organized by NGO and other learning resources. And here's the example of the uh, community learning center organized by the government organizations. First case is the lifelong learning uh, community center, Kok Mai Ngam Community Center at Kongan Province. Um, next, please. Ban uh, Kok Mai Ngam Community Learning Center uh, is the uh, community learning center that organized uh, the learning uh, under the Office of Non Formal and Informal Education. And the uh, uh, activity, uh, activity and the services that this community provided to their community member. There are several, actually, but the main uh, area of the activity and program that organized by this uh, community learning center um, cover the basic education, edu vocational development, quality of life, and the social and, uh, social and community development. The outstanding, uh, that is very outstanding uh, attribution or activity promoted by this uh, community learning center is the cooperation among community members to create a local curriculum. It's um, actually, they call one paid curriculum. And the main content and the, uh, the aspect of this curriculum, it comes from the expert, or we call Thai wisdom, teacher in the community uh, to transfer their knowledge into the uh, printing uh, material. And this is uh, the, the content of this uh, CLC curriculum cover all the like, activity that in the, the, in the community member daily life, for example, plantation, weaving, and uh, farming. And the uh, next, um, next, Example of the community learning center uh, provided by local administrative organization is the Agat Amnoi Community Learning Center at Sagonakon Province. This community learning center is very special because they are uh, organized by the admi local administrative organization or Agat Amnoi Municipality. The activity organized by Agat Amnoi uh, Municipal Community Learning Center comprise of several activities. For example, um, the community learning center can serve as a gallery, cultural gallery, library, internet room, um, technical room, or vocational training room, occupational classroom, shop, and also playground. Uh, as you notice that these two sample of community learning center have provided learning that assists and facilitate learner to become an autonomous learner where they are empowered to choose and make their decision on their learning and uh, continue their learning throughout life and help to develop their own community. Yes, uh, thank you, Suitita. The one that she present uh, because she has done these two research for UNESCO, and she went to real community research and interview and look for that. For the next part, I would like to share with you with the, the other learning community center which has done by Thai wisdom teachers. Uh, these Thai wisdom teachers all around the country. This is one part of our research also. We look, this, our research, we look for the honor of the Thai wisdom teachers developmental guideline in learning management for the complete purposes of educational, economical, and social development. For this research, we found out that local wisdom and Thai wisdom teachers or experts in the community are the key persons very important person to promote and support lifelong learning directly through their Thai wisdom learning centers. They have their own learning center which have done by Thai wisdom teachers. So they have nine area together which like agriculture, handicraft and cottage industry, Thai traditional medicine, 
management and conservation of natural resources, funding and community economics, fine arts, local languages and literatures, philosophy, religion and tradition, and food and nutrition. So you see this is all nine area of the local wisdom knowledge in Thailand. So the result point that local wisdom learning centers serve as the lifelong learning promotion centers or community services for conducting various learning activities based on nine areas of local wisdom, knowledge, and experience. You may look here, we have all the photos that we went uh, weaving, or the agriculture, or Thai classical dancing. And also this, this uh, community exchange knowledge and information in various aspects technical issues, occupations, culture, as well as the way of life. Also, providing learning opportunity and knowledge, transferring from generations to generations. And also demo, uh, demo, uh, promote the democratic way, personal ethics, morals, with an aim upon self-reliance development. So this is all the area in Thailand. So, Local wisdom learning centers promote lifelong learning activities in various aspects such as being sources of knowledge and information, organizing exhibitions, demonstration activities for visitors, providing information resources, and transferring knowledge and experience through the Thai wisdom teachers and learning materials. They have their own CD, they have their own uh, online, they have local newspapers they have done by themselves. This is all the sample here. And the target groups of the local wisdom learning centers will be children, adults, senior citizens, and all underprivileged people and anyone who are interested in the area. So the most important part for the local wisdom learning centers is the involvement. Community involvement is very important. We need to create a greater sense of concern and belonging among various community sectors and help enhance the sustainable development of the community as a whole. So that's uh, have done by local area. For the next part, learning center has done by private organization. For example, here we have like workplace, management of lifelong learning in the workplace. Also, all the companies have done learning resources or learning community in the workplace, in the factory. And we have done research also, provided, uh, explore, explore the child care organizing models provided by workplaces for under six year old children. And we found out that all uh, the learning resources in the workplace try to promote for their employees for the welfare for their employees and for the general public, emphasizing physical, emotional, social, and intellectual developments. So this, we look for uh, lifelong learning in the workplace. We look for child care organization. This is, we went for many factories here. Have a learning corners for the uh, children over there have a physical development also. They have the emotional and social development. So the next part, so the program and activities organized by NGOs also. Many group of NGO are uh, doing this part for the lifelong learning activities. For example, here, like Midnight University or Semsikalai or many parts of school that have done the learning resource. And the other also, they have other learning, research, learning uh, resources also. This is the example. Because of our act, 
we have we can do many learning resources for lifelong learning, such as public libraries, museums, art galleries, zoological gardens, public parks, botanical gardens, science and technology parks, sport and recreation centers, database and other sources of lifelong learning. So this is our act. So any parts of a community or learning resource have been done. So this is the next presentation of uh, the research related to the public parks, which we look for the learning resource have done by the public park in Thailand. It's the lifelong learning resources here. We've been to many parks of Thailand and we look for the learning resource. Parks serve as the learning resources, botanical gardens and botanical libraries in Thailand. This is all the community museums also. And recreation places and also serve as the community centers here also serve as the practice areas. So all these results found out that uh, very important that we need to start with activity center, community network, and the reading, and cultural enhancement with a customer based system. Therefore, public libraries should be become more community learning resource center focus on local knowledge and provide people the opportunities to participate in the activities. So the next is public libraries here. We have looked for the, this is the mobile unit for the library. It's a library unit. You can move around Thailand, around Bangkok for the kids or anyone who are interested in books can read that. This is serve as the information centers. We have internet corners, have e-libraries, e-books, and also public libraries serve as uh, the learning resources as the cultural centers because is is the province or uh, each area have their own library, so they can do it as the cultural centers for each area. And also this English class, they have the four handicaps here in the library. They have the family and children zones here. So we have, try to show all your photos because all the reading you can have it later on. So this is the photo that we took for the, the other concept that have applied lifelong learning for the Vocational Educational Development Center for the project here. For the last part, the recommendation and conclusion, we would like to emphasize more for the transfer of equivalency, educational result knowledge and experience because we have three area or three system. So three areas should be equivalency, educational results, and should develop for uh, specific target groups and educational institute, learning resource, and community learning center for enhancing lifelong learning activities, and also good quality, high potential educational staff are very important, and of course, local wisdom, Thai wisdom teachers should be promoted to participate in lifelong learning program and activities. Also, we need to emphasize on collaboration among each areas of society, support communities to create lifelong learning agreement for guidelines, and also facilitate uh, Thai people through ICT, develop various electronic learning materials, improve quality of distance education, set up a courseware center, promote e-learning, promote e-book, set up e-libraries, and ICT service both for administration and for lifelong learning. And the, uh, the last part, we would have to see 
friendly lifelong learning atmosphere and environment in the society. We hope in the future we look for the friendly lifelong network we can share together. Thank you very much.